Hi, this is Catherine here again and I would like to talk to you about your theme that you um, install on your site. Try and get something that is relevant to uh, what your topic is about. So if your niche is to do with business, finance, that type of thing, um, try and have something that is slightly related to that. The alternative is to have something very generic and very plain um, that still looks quite appealing. That's fine too. So you come down inside your dashboard to Appearance and click on Themes. And these are the ones that are uh, currently that they are showing you. Um, which you can activate and have a look at those if you like and just remember you can change these at any time you like so what I would suggest though is have a play around do a few um, you know set up your page your content few posts and what have you and then have a look at what what you think will best suit you and once you have chosen something then stick with it because if you start really building your site into a larger site and you make too many changes it can really um, disrupt the, the total layout of your site so to begin with it's fine to change it around and see which one suits you but as time goes on try and stick with something that you know is still going to um, work with the configuration that you've already got in place so uh, now in saying that you can come up to install themes click on that if you want to get into your um, search by colors you know you can select some of these boxes columns I usually like one or two columns um, you can you can try and do a search here and fiddle around and, and see if you come up, up with something you may just want to put in a keyword that will help search for something you are looking for and scroll down and find something that you you think that might be appropriate for your site bear in mind it will always be flexible to be changed within your uh, WordPress settings and that is one of the great things about WordPress quite like the look of this one I like the uh, simple layout in the sidebar content for your home page you could still set up posts in here and uh, links further down towards the bottom so we might preview this one these are all free uh, themes they'll tell you if it's a premium theme or a paid theme so yeah this is a more modern this would be quite nice for a modern layout uh, I like the way this one set up actually quite good yes I do like that one so once you've had a look at your preview you can close it then come down and click on install so it will change over from the default theme you had initially and click install now so it's telling us that it's successfully installed so now we want to activate and it's showing us that the current theme has now um, been activated and it is also letting us know that it supports the widgets um, is, and that is how you'll set up the sidebar um, configuration here but just for today I wanted to explain to you about the themes uh, another, oh, actually I'll show you in the other tab I've got the website there and you'll see that the theme will change when I refresh the page which it has done so the beauty of WordPress is that all these uh, things can be changed but this is a really nice base to set on I like the layout 
the sidebar is will be simple but um, easy for people to navigate so uh, that's an example and if we come back and say we don't like that theme um, we've changed our mind once we start building the site um, you know with a few posts and our page we might want to go to install themes and this is where you can install something that is um, saved on your computer so I've got a theme that I've used for an example I'll show you um, affiliate marketers college where I do a lot of the teachings for getting beginners online and the theme that is used in this website is um, flex squeeze and uh, as you can see you know it has custom background a lot of different things you can do with it at this moment I've got the site set up of posts only which will be changing um, later on down the track I'll have some other things here but anyway if you want to go ahead and install a theme that you have purchased somewhere or uh, something else that you like just click on the upload button here and then search for the zip format and do a browse and then locate the um, then locate the zip folder in your computer click on that open and install now so that's how you go about installing uh, something that you have already located on your computer if you don't want to use the the default ones inside WordPress what they have to offer and so now we can activate flex squeeze and it is showing you that that one there has been activated and so the current theme is always displayed here now say we um, don't want a theme we want to go back to uh, another theme you just come in find the theme you want and again do activate and that will automatically change it to whatever you to every whatever you want to use and it doesn't mean that you know you have to go back and deactivate one to activate another it, it doesn't work like that it's all very simple to use so um, and as you've seen there this theme is now activated so I uh, hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.